we'll be using Unity to generate our apps along with Buforia, which is integrated into the latest stable version of Unity, which is 2017.2. In order to get to Unity's website, go to Google and type in Unity 3D and hit search. And that's the website you're looking for. Unity is a cross-platform game engine developed by Unity Technologies, which is primarily used to develop video games and simulations for computers, consoles, and mobile devices. Unity is a multi-purpose game engine that supports 2D and 3D graphics, drag and drop functionality, and scripting using C Sharp. Six major versions of Unity have been released. In this course, we'll be using the latest stable version of Unity, which is 2017.2. Now, in order to download Unity, click on Get Unity. Download the personal version, which is free, unless you want to spend some money and go for the Plus or Pro version. Scroll down to the bottom, click on this box to confirm that you agree to their terms of service, and finally click on Download Installer. Once the download has installed, click on it to open it. Click on Next. Accept the terms of the license agreement. And this is the important bit. Make sure that you click on Vuforia Augmented Reality Support, Mac Build Support if you're interested in Mac, Android Build Support. Leave the rest as default, and now you're ready to install it on your PC or Mac. I already have Unity installed on my machine, so I'm going to cancel and exit. Once Unity has installed, please launch it. And if this is the first time you're installing Unity on your machine, you will have to register at their website. You only have to do this once. Next, click on New to start a brand new project. I'm not going to make any changes to the project name or location, so click on Create Project. And congratulations, you have Unity installed successfully on your computer. We still have a few things to do before we can start working on Unity. So go to File, Build Settings, and here you'll find a list of platforms that Unity can export applications to. Now click on Android. As soon as you click it, you will get a message here which states that you need to download a piece of software from the internet. So this is the first thing you need to do. Click on the link provided and download and install this software. You will have to do it for iOS as well. After you've downloaded and installed the software, please return to this video tutorial to continue with our Unity installation. The next thing to remember is prior to creating any app, you need to click on Player Settings, go to the bottom of this inspector panel and click on Enable Vuforia Augmented Reality Support. It's within the XR settings. This is extremely important. Now we need to download two software development kits, namely Android and Java. So let's do that now. Let's download the Android software development kit first. So go to Google and type in Android SDK. Click on the first link that appears. And this is a software you need to download. Simply click on it and follow the instructions. The installation is very simple and self-explanatory. Next, let's download Java. So go back to Google and type in Java SDK and hit enter. Now you need to be a bit careful here. You have two options. You have Java SE Development Kit number 8 and Java SE Development Kit number 9. Now number 9 did not really work for me for some reason. It may work for you. So if you want to try it out, click on it 
click on accept license agreement and depending on whether you have a Mac or Windows, download the pertinent software. Now, as mentioned earlier, Java 9 did not really work for me, so I'm running with Java 8. The procedure to download is very similar. All you have to do is accept the license agreement and download the pertinent software for your Mac or PC. The only difference is you have a 32-bit and 64-bit option depending on the type of Windows you have. So feel free to test out Java 8 and Java 9 and install whichever works for you. In order to install it, simply click on the link, wait for the download to complete, then open the installer file and follow the instructions. Now this step is extremely important. After you've downloaded and installed Android and Java SDKs, go back to Unity and click on Edit Preferences. Then click on External Tools and scroll to the bottom. There are two sections here which is probably blank for you, but you need to enter the path to the Android SDK and Java JDK. So in order to do that, you need to get the exact location of where your SDK is located within your PC. Now this can be a little tricky, but I'll show you how to locate it. Generally, the default installation is C, users, your username, app data, local, Android, and SDK. But the problem you may come across is app data is generally a hidden file. So I'll show you how to locate it. So open your Windows Explorer. So go to C, users, username, and once you reach here, go to your options, view, and click here, show hidden files, folders, and drives. Click on OK. And now app data will pop up. So now click on app data, then click on local, click on Android, and finally SDK. So this is the link you need to copy and paste here. Similarly, for Java, the default installation is C, Program Files, Java, SDK, and JDK. So click on Browse, go to the JDK folder, and click on Select Folder. I've clicked on Cancel because my path is already defined. And now you're ready to build apps. In the next video tutorial, we'll have a general overview of Unity and Wuforia.